um, what they were able to do um, in the second half. Luckily, we had a, a little bit of a cushion from the first and made enough plays down the stretch. Uh, but, you know, it's a competitive game, a lot of stops, um, you know, 50-50 balls, all the activity, deflections. You know, I think we just made one or two more plays down the stretch and we need to be better, you know, especially I think the third quarter um, in all areas of, of our defense, uh, we can't we can't let up for a second. Talk about the defense a little bit, Coach, and they really did, I mean, it seems like they are coming together and doing what you want them to do defensively then. Well, I think you could definitely, you know, um, commend them for their defense in the first half or our guys for their defense in the first half and, um, you know, just watching it as it happened and I'm going to go and review the film. I don't think the third and fourth quarter is the defense that we need to play or that we want to play. Um, you know, so it's always good to have, a, have an idea of what it takes and uh, you want to replicate that uh, for more of the 48 minutes than your opponent. Yeah, talk a little bit about Kent Bazemore. Great game for him tonight. Career high, 23 points, eight rebounds. Got him back up. Yeah, no, I think I think Bays was great. You know, his focus, his mentality, I think was in the right place. I um, mean, I think when he's really locked in defensively, he's making things difficult defensively. Uh, that puts him in the right place. And then his ability, you know, I think to attack a closeout, get to the rim, um, get to the free throw line, rebound. You know, he's just an overall game. I think um, against. Against them, we just need to be solid. We need to make the right pass. We need to make the right drive, make the right decision. Um, and, and Bayes did a lot of that tonight. You were 5 of 20 from the field um, in the third quarter there. And I'm wondering how much of that was of your mistakes or, or, or shooting, and opposed to what maybe the Celtics did differently. And specifically, did you see what they did to change your score? No, you know, I think that's some of that part of that question. You know, you have to go back and review the film and um, see if there was something they did differently. I think they probably, more than anything, they were just more aggressive, um, up their activity. And, and I, there were a few turnovers that stood out to me in the third quarter that, um, you know, maybe if we take those away, get a possession, get a shot. Um, and then when you get a good look, uh, and those, you know, when there's a flow or there's a, a change of momentum, and you need to make a couple of those, you know, five for 20s. But we'll look at the film and see uh, what we can notice. Mike Marks in over 19 at a game. With the exception of Mike Scott on the bench, you didn't get as much as you probably are used to getting. Did that change your thinking and game planning down the stretch when the game got tight? Um, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we tightened up the rotation a little bit as the game got closer. Uh, you know, I thought Jeff was really uh, playing well tonight and, and Al. Um, so rode those guys a little bit longer, a little bit more. And uh, I think the bench has is, is been good for us all year. Um, some of them, you know, I think it's still, the playoffs are still somewhat new, understanding how physical you have to be, how every play. Um, but it's great. I think, uh, you know, Mike obviously played well. I thought Tavo gave us a lot of good, good possessions, good minutes. And the, the group will just keep continuing to work. And, um, we'll have confidence in them. Coach, you guys had uh, really good success inside in the first half. Was any of your third quarter situation through flow or whatever, did you go away from that a little bit from these sides? No, you know, the way we play is, you know, I, I think uh, we try and take what, you know, the defense gives us, what ball movement, people movement, and, um, you know, when we're scoring and we're efficient, it's not necessarily that we're, you know, trying to do something different than really we've been doing probably the majority of the season. And, um, you know, so we'll look at the third quarter, see if there's things that we can do better, and, uh, you know, improve our efficiency. Mike, when Avery Bradley went down in the fourth quarter there, their best perimeter defender goes absent. Did you make a conscious decision to have Jeff be more aggressive? Because Jeff was particularly on the attack on the last six or seven minutes. Um, yeah, I, I felt like Jeff was in attack mode really most of the night. Um, Avery Bradley is obviously a very good perimeter defender, and so without without him, um, you know Jeff may have gotten even more aggressive, and um, you know find some situations that we like, and hopefully he can uh, he can get to the basket or find guys that are open and um, play a two man game. You know he and Al or he and Paul, and that's kind of how we finished a lot of fourth quarters.
Coach, 62 three-pointers taken in this game. Is that something you expect throughout the course of the series? And also, what do you think you need from Dennis to help you out with the minutes that you give him? Yeah, the three-pointers, uh, you know, obviously, you know, we know ourselves well, and the three-point shot is a big part of what we do. And um, we're going to shoot them when we're open. We're going to drive when the, the, there's opportunities to attack and get to the paint. And, you know, we've been kind of harping that this team shoots a lot of threes. Um, and we've got to, you know, have great activity, great shifts, and still get to their three-point shooters and, and um, get great contests. Uh, so it doesn't surprise me how many um, either shot. And, and, you know, Dennis, I think Dennis just got to continue to be aggressive, you know, a little bit. Um, you know, something we say to a lot, of, a lot of our players is come out with a defensive mindset, have a great impact on the game defensively. And, uh, things on the other end will take care of itself. And so, you know, he's, he's a very confident young man. And, um, you know, we're confident that he'll, uh, he'll play well and give us great minutes off the bench. Any more questions for Bud? All right, thank you.